Video number 18 for It's All About You, Ladies. This is Sonia Morrison sharing with you from The Heart of Caregiving, A Guide to Joyful Caring. And I was speaking with you a little bit about how to nurture and encourage independence with someone that you're caring for. So communication, of course, is a big part of that by stating how you're willing to help them. And sometimes one of the useful things that you can do is just be close at hand with an encouraging word and ask them a question or two about what do you think you could do next. So if they're feeling that not confident about the task at hand, whether it's transferring from one place to another or dressing themselves or whichever piece they're working and focusing on. You could just be near and be a bit of a cheerleader. That would help. So sometimes demonstrating, showing them, reminding them what steps happen first to make a safe transfer or safe skill, whatever they're needing to practice. Um, keeping a journal to document the progress can be a really helpful tool for you to review and celebrate the progress that's made. Um, I think really to give yourself kudos as well as the person you're working with, thumbs up for remembering to have fun and encouraging independence. Mm. So basically being the fun person that you want to be to bring out the funness in them. And if you just maybe put something on your calendar about what you want to focus on and complete for that week. Um, I think that's about it. Just basically celebrate the small steps that you do make. That's it for now. Have a good night. Bye.